Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, let me formally introduce you to the new All About the Bay Fluke. Or soft plastic jerk bait. Bam! Uh, if you've been watching my videos, specifically since I moved up here to Marathon and a lot of my prospecting trips, you'll see that my go-to bait has been basically the fluke. Now, that and the All About the Bait uh, bucktail jig. So basically, I was anytime top or mid-water column, I was throwing a fluke. And then anything bottom of the water column, I was using the bucktail jig. And I'm doing really well with it. But the other thing you might notice, especially towards the last few videos, is I was I started off with a 20 pack of flukes that I've had five to ten years and just hadn't used them. But the circumstances were perfect for what I was doing up here. So I brought those out. I was doing really well with them until I started running low. Then a lot of times you'll hear me say, ooh, this is my last fluke. Do I really want to throw that fish? Or do I want to throw it in that pocket of uh, mangroves where I don't know if I'm going to get it back? Or if I do get it stuck, I do everything I can to go after and get it because it's basically my last one. And I was like, man, that's kind of a stupid way of doing it. I'm fishing. I can't like hold back because of that. So I figured, hey, I know I'm going to be using a ton of these. So why not add them to the arsenal as well as to the All About the Bay store? So, starting off, went out and ordered about 8,000 of them, different color selection, uh, to get started. And uh, now I've got a bunch of baits and I can cast away without uh, worrying about it. But uh, the main reason for getting these flukes, uh, like I mentioned of moving up here, is that type of style of fishing that you're seeing me do, which is basically running along the mangroves, spotting fish or spotting pockets that look like they'll hold fish and basically skip casting or kind of bouncing the lure back as far as I can underneath those mangroves where those fish are either hanging out or those cruising along those edges there. All right. And what that requires is, well, actually, I mean, prior to moving up here, you see me do it quite a bit with the juvenile tarpon as well, but I was using this, my go-to rig, which is basically um, and all about the bait fish head, jig head, and either a two and five eighths inch paddle tail or a four inch paddle tail and skipping that underneath there. And it works great. The extra weight helps to kind of get that flick going and skip in and bounce it in there. And uh, it would definitely create that reaction bite when they see that middle start fluttering away after that splash and then chasing off after it. So got a lot of hits off of that. It worked great. But the risk of it is, is this. Okay, you're throwing an exposed hook into the mangroves. And as much as I like to say I'm this super fantastic, 100% always perfect cast, it's hardly like that. I'd say probably I'm catching trees four out of every 10 casts. It's in the tree somewhere stuck or getting hung up. And that's just not very efficient. So that's one of the primary factors why I've gone to the fluke because I can rig it weedless. All right. So if I do cast it into the trees, I just don't jerk, jerk on it back. I just slowly retrieve it back and just needle it through the uh, leaves and the branches until it's out, drops down and I'm fishing again. And that creates a lot of uh, less mangrove crashing trying to chase after those. Um, it gives me more confidence that I don't have to worry about uh, getting stuck, so I'll throw it in deeper, I'll throw it into tire, tighter constraints, and just have that confidence. Farther you get it in, the bigger chance that you're going to get that reaction by it. So it's definitely worth it. If you're not getting hung up in the trees, then you're not really fishing when you're doing those mangroves like that. Now the, the second reason is, is that a lot of the fish that I'm looking for are those juvenile tarpon, okay? And they are an upbeater. I say a lot when I'm fishing, they're an upbeater. Their mouths are made to conform to face up. So they go up, they go up, go back down. Their eyes are looking up. Everything means that they feed generally upwards. So with these baits, what it gives me is suspended time in the strike zone. Running the uh, paddle tail with the jig head, I can't do that. I throw this in there. I need to bring that retrieve right away to keep that bait up top. If I slow it down, it'll start going down. If I stop, it'll just sink, okay? And then I have to bring it back up and I have to speedily move it to keep it up top. 
where with the soft plastic jerk baits, flukes, especially rigged weed lives with just a bare hook like this, I cast them in there and it's a slow sink if I don't do anything. Do a little bit of a, a, a rod tip jerk and it pops it right back to the top and if I do nothing, it'll slowly go down. And that's perfectly what I want. I want to get it under those trees and I want to keep that bait under those trees as long as possible because that's where the fish are. Now the third reason why is you'll see me doing is chumming with the pilchards. Cast baiting a bunch of pilchards and either live or dead finding a cool, a good fishing area that I see looks real fishy or I'm seeing fish and then getting a scoop of those pilchards and throwing them into the area, get those fish fired up, get some feeding, get some dumb. Okay, then I can throw into them and it's just, they're just on feeding frenzy and they'll just grab anything. Again, that's what these, uh, the flutes are really good for. Again, it suspends them, but then it's a slow drip, just like if I threw a dead pilchard, uh, they'll just slowly sink down if I just give them a little jerk, it'll give that erratic jerk motion to it, just like those uh, pilchers that are just kind of stunned and they're just kind of darting about not knowing where they're at, where they're going, and they're just very erratic. And that's what mimics it perfectly. So for those three reasons, that's why I had to have the flukes and that's why I added them to the line of baits at allaboutthebait.com. Now in the four inch size, I've got five different colors. We've got pink, we've got gold glitter and the green back, We've got glow with uh, sparkles, we've got the black back and the pearl body, and then we've got the glitter back shad. Uh, they run a 20 pack for $10, or you can get a 40 pack for $18. Also in the 4 inch, I offer a sample pack, which includes the rigging kit and the soft plastic, so you get 4 of the rigging kits and 20 of whichever bait you choose, and that goes for $18. Now in the 5 inch I have three colors. We've got the green back pilchard, we've got the maple syrup with the red flakes, and then we have pearl white. And these are going to go for 20 of them for $15, or you can get a 40 pack for $25. I'll also be offering a sample pack in the 5 inch that'll include four of the rigging kits, five aught hooks, plus 20 of your choice of colors, and that'll be for $20. In regards to the rigging kits, for the 4 inch fluke I recommend a 3 aught. For the 5 inch I recommend the 5 aught. Uh, you can also purchase the kits individually, either just buy built components with the hook and the bait keeper, or you can just buy the bait keeper or the hook separately. Um, I offer a 13 millimeter version, which is just basically a shorter coil than my 15 meter, millimeter or small. Then 26 millimeters my medium, 33 millimeters my large, and 42 millimeters my extra large. Uh, I also sell the uh, 2x strong mustad hooks. Uh, I offer them from a 1 aught all the way through to a 10 aught. So 2 aught, 3 aught, 4 aught, 5 up, all the way through to 10 aught. Uh, for tarpon, the big tarpon season, I'll use the 7 aught through the 10 aught, uh, rigging my hoagie uh, baits. Uh, generally around tarpon season, they sell out every well, everywhere, but uh, I'll keep these in stock. Made those with one of my larger uh, bait keepers, and that's a perfect setup there. But otherwise, if you have your own baits that you want to use these, the only thing I recommend though is that, for instance, these will not work very well with the paddle tails because of the thick body. It's just too wide of a gap. You could cut these down and make them work so that they're thinner like these flukes. But flukes are made to uh, use these style hooks because they have the slit in the, the belly as well as the slit on top and that makes the uh, actual thickness of the bait very thin and that gives you a lot more hook penetration. So just something to think about there. Alright, so that's the new All About the Bait line of flukes and rigging kits. Uh, I also wanted to add in regards to the hooks, these are the Mustad 2X Strong 60 degree bend jig hooks. These are the same hooks that I use for the All About the Bait Cobra jig heads and the Fish Head jig heads. Now for those, I specifically wanted these hooks because of that 2X Strong. I wanted to be for sure that my jig heads 
we're not going to be the weakest link if you catch that fish of the lifetime. You don't have to worry about these hooks stretching, straightening out, or breaking. That 2X Strong is the best in the business. So definitely wanted that. For the flukes, it's two reasons. One, yeah, catch that fish of the lifetime. Don't worry about putting the heat on. These hooks won't straighten out or break. But two is the weight displacement. Uh, with a, a nose hooked jig head, these baits will basically nose dive just straight down like that. With these 2X strong hooks and that larger wire diameter, it's a heavier hook. And what that does is that it keeps the bait right side up but it also, because it stretches from the tip all the way to the meaty part of the bait, it keeps that bait balanced and perpendicular in the water. So when it sinks, it's not nose diving. It's basically gradually swimming down, keeping the backside up the way it should be. You put a little couple twitches on it and it just pulls it right back up again. It keeps you in that strike zone. But it's a perfectly mashed hook and bait. So super happy with that. But uh, anyways, you can check these out at www.allaboutthebait.com. And otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.